Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Hunter where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we are looking at Hyperon Chain. So um, just a few things I want to share with you. Uh, they did have an audit on this project. It did pass with no higher medium severity issues. The owner, though, has privileges to set max TX and wallet limits. So just be aware of that. Um, they are KYC'd. This is a Trinos, you know, Trinos contract. Um, and then as far as like any concerns and red flags I have on this, you know, just the max TS, max TX uh, owner privilege, you know, in the audit. So, all right, we're going to take a look at the pre-sale. Pre-sale is live on pink sale. So they got just over two days, you know, um, you know, before this pre-sale ends, this is a fair launch, you know, so you guys got plenty of time to take a look at it, uh, just to see, you know, uh, to do your own evaluation and assessment, you know, on the project, um, you know, uh, you know, as far as Hyper on Chain is concerned. So um, we can see a number of different badges here, Safe Food Badge, you know, Audit, KYC, as far as the KYC is concerned, here you go. So um, let's see here, it says here it's a decentralized you know, DPoS uh, blockchain. Uh, we can see staking blockchain developer tools, you know, yield farming, Hyperion sale, NFT workspace, Meta World, um, Metaverse 2D and 3D, Google Lens, and Microsoft, you know, I'm not, HoloLens, I think, Unity Integration Framework, Safe Who Audited, KYC, Team Vesting, Buy Rewards, 0% BNB, <clears throat> Sell Rewards, 6% BNB, um, transfer rewards. Uh, we see two and B, two percent B and B to holders. CMC fast track listing. As I've said before on some other videos, I don't really care, you know, for projects, you know, mentioning fast track listing, just because, you know, in the past, you know, you mentioned that, and then it it, it did interrupt, you know, one's ability to even be able to get fast tracked, you know, so or to get onto CMC. So. Personally, I'd rather they remove it, but that's just my personal opinion and a huge marketing campaign. Got a video here. As you guys know, we don't play videos on the video walkthroughs on the channel, but you're always free to come back and check that out uh, should you like to on your own. All right. So we can see they've got an estimated more, um, initial market cap of just over 16,000. And, uh, you know, obviously this is going to change as they receive more contributions in the fair launch. And then we see uh, liquidity lockup of 365 days after the pool ends. So, and then here are the token metrics, nothing really concerning going on there for me. So, um, so yeah, that'll do it for me, you know, on as far as the, uh, the fair launch is concerned. So we're going to head on back over. Well, actually, I uh, want to mention to you, this is their documentation. So make sure you have a look at that. I'll leave that the, the link to that in the, in the description. And then going back on over to the main page, we can see uh, Hyper on Chain is a community run EVM uh, based blockchain technology, which runs on delegated proof of stake, DPoS, consensus algorithm powering crypto currency, hyper on HPN, and platform for various decentralized applications. So we got a button you know, just for the pink sale, you know, but we already took a look at that. And here for developer, for community, and live testnet, we see docking or we see some information associated with each of those categories. And uh, Hyperion, Hyperion features, I want to keep saying Hyperion, but it's Hyperion features, safe and secure governance, uh, free developers, tool sets, NFT and Metaverse, web wallet, financial dApps, featured in, and then all of these right here, Hyperion chain projects. And so it says intention of Hyperion chain is not only to launch their own blockchain, but to create an ecosystem of DeFi applications on it to provide endless opportunities, you know, to our community. So we see here Hyperon Bridge, staking, yield farming. Uh, we see fractional trade, merchant services, NFT workspace. And let's see here, token sale. So we get some, some tokenomics, basically, you know, 33.2% to pink sale, 21%, you know, to, for, for liquidity, which is locked for a year, 23.98 to investing, 20% to ecosystem, and 0.1% to airdrop marketing and centralized trading competition. So we also see the timeline, which is essentially the roadmap. And uh, we see here Q3, Q4, and Q1 of 2023. So this project is going to go into 2023, which is good to see. Um, so you're starting out, you're starting out with their private fund raise and launch. 
uh, testnet launch, paid marketing, pink sale fair launch. So this is obviously where they're at right now. CMC and Kongeko, and then Q4 we see staking rewards, free developer tools, web wallet, decentralized wrap tokens and bridge, multi-blockchain, NFT workspace, and the mainnet launch and exchange listing. And then going into next year, Hyperon, pay merchant services, fractional trade, uh, chain integration, integration with existing dApps. Our D apps, uh, Uniswap, Sushi Swap, and many more. Now we don't see if they're going to be doing anything beyond Q1 2023. It'd be good to go ahead and see that happen, you know, or at least for them to indicate something like that. We also don't see that they've indicated that they've done anything, you know. So it would be good for them to at least start checking things off, you know, for anybody visiting their roadmap. So, um, but that takes us through, you know, um, basically the uh, brief analysis here, you know, in terms of the project, you know, so I try to expose you guys to projects that you might not be aware of. So if this is one you haven't taken a look at, uh, that is it for me you know, in terms of the Hyper on Chain. So if you're interested in the project, as always, we don't encourage you to invest in the channel, but we do encourage you to get informed. So be sure to take a look at the documentation and the community and do your own evaluation and assessment to Inform yourself, develop those signals that would lead, either wean you into your project or away from it and determine your level of participation uh, with respect to this project. Thank you guys so much for watching. And with that said, that'll do it for me on this one. You guys enjoy the day.